as you guys probably know the ubuntu 23 releases has already started so it's a huge news for boomers just kidding how's your mother so i decided not to have a look at ubuntu yes in this video i decided to go ahead and then wander around in the ubuntu realm itself but not to have a look at ubuntu itself so i thought well why not have a look at the flavors of ubuntu and what's a better flavor than the god of ubuntu desktop environments itself the ubuntu unity this desktop environment made and abandoned by the ubuntu themselves is now maintained by another guy called rudra saraswat who has definitely become very popular these days attending interviews meetups and so on so i thought well let's get started and let's try this linux distribution considering that this uses a desktop environment which was well abandoned before i was even born well again that's a joke we shall consider how this linux distribution works and how it integrates with the desktop environment which they created themselves and abandoned at the end of the day so i went into this distribution knowing that this is an old desktop environment obviously and my first impression was i'm not going to lie really good the wallpaper was clean it matched well with the desktop environment the desktop environment layout itself was very clean again matching with the flagship layout made by ubuntu in the modern era starting with just the pros of this desktop environment it is really good when it comes to the efficiency of the workflow of the desktop i really love the top bar considering it does not waste a lot of space and keeps the balance between efficiency and the appearance not making it cluttered for the sake of efficiency at the same time being very thoughtful when it comes to the global menu and the window buttons i could very easily say that this desktop environment was very well thought out at least when Ubuntu was trying to create it. It still seems modern even though it is an old desktop environment by itself. The file manager is very slick. I love the theming and the icons of this uh Linux distribution. It still seems like it's Ubuntu but at the end of the day it's an Ubuntu flavor with a different accent of colors. when it comes to the theming and icons again which i actually like i really loved the blur effects the blur effect by the way in this linux distribution is more like a windows 7 kind of blur effect i don't know what makes the difference but there is a huge difference between the blur in the windows 7 taskbar and the kde neon panels in the modern versions i i don't know if you get my point i guess it's the blur strength and something like that which makes a lot of difference but at the end of the day this Linux distribution has this old school Windows 7 like blur effect with the uh, taskbar and stuff like that when you enable the transparency which i actually like the blur effect is amazing and adds to the old school taste of it moving on to the next part which is the composition although this linux desktop is like what 4 to 5 years old i'm pretty sure it's way more older than what i just said but even though this desktop is way older the compositor of this linux desktop is still amazing and still is compatible with the modern compositors it's very similar to desktop environments like budgi and cinnamon when it comes to the anime animation and compositing you know it's not mad animation like what kde has when it comes to the cursor and stuff like that but at the same time it's not too less like what xfce has and i like the middle ground balance which it has now that's almost it when it comes to the pros of this desktop environment although there's a lot more which i would like to talk about when it comes to the pure advantages you would get when you're using this desktop environment i'll keep it up for the future video talking about the disadvantages and the cons of this desktop and when where can i just get started with it let's talk about the desktop environment as a whole this is so old as a desktop environment that in order to keep this up with the competition with the other desktop environments you have to do something mad something which changes the game completely if you want to even get started with competing with other desktop environments also about the features of the desktop environment there is something unique about all the desktop environments uh when it comes to anything like kde gnome cinnamon deepen xfce all of these stuff there's something unique about all of these desktop environment and talking about unity 
I can't see it. There is nothing unique in this desktop environment when it comes to the features as a whole. I mean, global menus, it is already existing in the modern era. It used to be a different unique feature for Unity, but now uh, many desktop environments already has this, like XFCE and KDE. The file managers and many of the application in this Linux distribution is so outdated, unfixable, that most of the applications are now replaced with the other desktop environment application like the file manager manager which I am using right now in Ubuntu UT is called Nemo which is the which is the file manager you get in cinnamon desktop and that's just an example obviously most of the default application in this Linux distribution is replaced with other desktop environment applications such as cinnamon also I know that this project has been around for about a couple of years which is probably enough to even like maintain and add a new feature if you wish and I don't see that also coming from the time this has relived its existence unity desktop has seen no new significant feature which makes it unique and separate from other desktop environments there's no new separate feature which makes it go wow overall in my opinion it has basically become desktop environment which you could just visit if you want and you know come back to normal ubuntu or other ubuntu flavors you want it's not gonna see any significant fe feature as far as i can see talking about the settings application application in general it seems to be this old school settings application which has not been updated from stone age i'm not gonna lie the application ui and the layout of the app seems too outdated and i don't even think that the developers of this linux distribution are trying to fix this let's take the wallpaper changing application in this desktop environment for example most of the modern desktop environments clearly understand the workflow of most people and change it to basically the app where you could just change the wallpaper directly and most of the screen of the application is occupied by the options of wallpaper which you want to choose and maybe in some applications you would also get the option to change the themes or maybe some plugins in other desktop and vine so on but you would never get the smallest screen to be the wallpaper setter and the other parts of this complete application to be something else i mean i understand why unity was trying to do this it was trying to do this for basically making it too compact and you know having most of the options seen by the user himself or herself but at this point in the current norms of the ui world i don't think this is i don't think this is going to be acceptable but at the end of the day it needs to grow up as a child i'm talking about unity desktop environment so there you go i've said both good and bad of this desktop environment so don't kill me if you like it don't kill me if you hate it and with that said hope you guys enjoyed this video smash like subscribe and i'll meet you in the next one